What's up, folks? It's your boy Mick, and thank you for joining us again for another Puff a Minute. I'm here today with my boy Jaron Gray, all right, and we're chilling with you guys once again. It's Friday, and this is what we do on Fridays. Today we decided, you know what, we're going to switch it up a little bit, so we're going to do our casino pool series. So right now we're out here chilling at the Aliante Pool in North Las Vegas, and uh, you know, about to get into it, all right. So today I'm puffing on this Liga Provada number nine. All right, by Drew Estates. Very, very good cigar, very special, man. Highly recommend it. This literally is one of my favorite, one of my number one go-tos right here, all right? Liga Provider number nine. And today we're pairing that with a little bit of Jameson on the rocks because we're just chilling out here, all right? Jaren, what's good, baby? Man, what's good, people? Smoking on this nice Rocky Patel Royale today. And you know, uh, Drew used to work for Rocky. That's right. Yeah, That's it. so you know, Rocky has all these different lines, different people who worked for him and moved on over the years. And got my little uh, dope beverage as well today. So what's yeah, going yeah. on, Mick? Man, we just chilling out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of stuff going on in the news this week, man. But you know, I would be remiss, man, if I didn't just get this gone with <laughs> from the top of the hat, man. You know, from the top, right? We just talk about this real quick and get it out the way, all right? What's up with Roseanne Barr, bro? Roseanne. Roseanne. <laughs> what's going on with Roseanne? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she lost her mind, man. It, it, and it tripped me out because she tried to blame it on the sleeping pills. <laughs> Talking about she had hallucinations and started sitting out. Med but she did it the second day, too. I thought about that. She did, did she? it two days. She, she's hallucinated a lot. Yeah, two days in a row off the Ambien, right? That's crazy. I, she used the Kanye model and said he was off his opioids. Yeah. That's why he said slavery was a choice. So yeah. I guess that's going to be the new tagline is uh, Me Too <laughs> for that, right? Exactly. Me Too, I got I was drugged when I took the video. If you do something post. stupid and you send out a tweet <laughs> that you wasn't supposed to send out, the next day you can always go back and blame the drugs, okay? Yeah. That's what you do, right? That's the that's the norm now. Just blame the drugs, okay? It was the ambient people. It wasn't me. It was the ambient. Yeah, it got to be a hallucinogen. Now. I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just crazy to me because to me, you know, it just further shows you the, the complete polarization of the United States right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you know, ever since a certain gentleman, you know, became uh, the country's leader, you got people who are so far to the left and so far to the right that there's no meeting in the middle, man. And when you just start going out and doing idiotic things, man, like just insulting people, man, just off the cuff, man, on, on Twitter, just to get a rise. I don't even know what the, you know, what the agenda was, uh, but still, this is the result. Now you got hundreds of people out of work, right? Right. You got all of this stuff going on, all because you wanted to send out a stupid tweet. That's the part that sucks the most, right? Like you got people out of work now because you made a stupid decision off of Ambien or what have you. You shouldn't have took the pill first and then said the tweet or vice versa. Right. <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So here so here we go, man. You know what I'm saying? But next up, man, enough with Roseanne Barr because that is what it is, man. Right. So tell me what you thought about game one last night. Man, awesome game. LeBron did his thing. But man, I keep saying this to other people, bro. It's a team versus one player. Right. And it's like, who gonna prevail? That one player or a team? You know, it could add to LeBron's greatness if he beats the Warriors by himself. Because I still don't think Kevin Love's going to show up. He's too soft. Okay. You got, and he don't really have a strong supporting cast, right? JR is probably on his way down. True. George Hill on his way down. Right. So he really has nobody he can depend on other than himself. And I think we saw that in the last quarter, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it's still going to be a good series because you got LeBron. But at the same time, I just... I just don't see how they're going to beat the Warriors, man. In a seven-game series, I just don't see how it's going to happen. Now, I'm going to tell you, man, from my perspective, right, you know, I never, you know, expected Cleveland to be in the game, you know, like from the beginning. Honestly, man, I didn't really, you know, the, the series didn't really, you know, excite me. 
to an, to much of an extent because again we all know about LeBron's greatness, but when you look about around at his surrounding cast, you know yeah. what I'm saying, and then you look at the the cast in the very very deep bench of Golden State, you really didn't expect it to be you know a close game nah. like that, you know. So I was surprised to saw to see what I saw. Now here's the thing, Cleveland had an excellent opportunity to steal one last night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And those types of opportunities don't come very often. So I don't think that they're going to win game two, right? Because I think they blew it right now in game one. If they had won Absolutely. game one, they could have came in there, you know, and had Golden State shook a little bit going yeah. into game two. But there were so many things that happened, man, in the final minutes of regulation. You know, first with that, that, that crazy call, you know, that I'm still trying to understand. Right, overturning I mean, a, a you call don't overturn that, calls in basketball, but that tremendous to the game, right? You wow, know, that was the call that got it to OT. Basically, if you really look at it, KD goes down, makes two shots, ties up the game. That was exactly. that was it that got it to OT. So yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's hard to leave it in the rest hands, but man, like you know how it is, man. Growing up playing basketball, oh, yeah. you can't leave it in the rest hands. Exactly. You got to finish the game. Don't make mistakes. We, Jr. I'm feeling for him. Because, like I said, is it the Henny or not? Because <laughs> the bro made a, a crazy mistake. But yeah. at the end of the game, you can't leave it up to the rest. You can, man. But see, even with even with the bad call, Cleveland still had a chance. All mm -hmm. right? All George Hill had to do was make free throw, two free throws. Two. Two free throws. He makes one. Okay, you know what? We still got a chance. Yeah. Because after he missed the second one, JR goes up and gets the rebound. Yeah. All he got to do is go back up with the ball, right? Yeah. No, he don't do that. No, no. He dribbles out. You know, he looks at Le <laughs> But the the look that LeBron gave him at, uh. after that man was precious, bro. Like I just want <laughs> I want a meme on that one, bro. Just like yeah. <laughs> classic. <laughs> classic. <laughs> that was classic, man. I cracked up when I saw that, man. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't stop laughing. You and, know? He, and you saw it on the tele oh, you saw it when they did the replay, Jay. I said, I thought we was up. <laughs> I but like, in the locker room, he's like, nah, I knew I knew the score was tied, man. Yeah, Come yeah. your mind. You confused, bro. You confused. Oh, and man. you know what I'm saying? AR, AARP is around the corner, man. Here's an application because you tripping yeah. right now. You know? But yeah, so anyway, it was a great game. You great know, game. I hate to see it great end game. like that, but I was I was highly entertained throughout the entire game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully there will be some more moments like that as we go on. I oh, yeah. I kinda agree with you know what we heard a little bit earlier. And stuff like that. I think you know it's going to be Golden State in five. You know, I yeah. think Cleveland wins one back home. Golden State steals one, right. then they come on back and it's over with. You right, know what right. I'm saying? So that's that's that. Take it for what you want. Sports book is that way. <laughs> okay. Now speaking about entertaining sports, all right? How about those Las Vegas Golden Knights, man? Oh man, how about them? Come on now. Expansion team in the desert, shining right now. It's crazy, man. <laughs> I'm not even that dude that like you know grew up loving hockey like hockey is not a sport that I really engaged in a lot growing up and yes in New York we had the Rangers and the Rangers was a beast mode type squad they played in the garden there but I never really watched it a whole lot you know but now during this series like you know the semifinals now in the finals with the Vegas Knights man I've been watching these games bro. I've been glued to the TV man like it's that exciting yeah, man, it's a beautiful thing, right? To, who would have thought a, a team full of rugrats and cast offs would be doing what they're doing right now, man? Goalie play is excellent. We can't knock him at all. I, I really think Golden Knights got a good chance to win this thing. You know, just stop making them stupid mistakes. Right. They made a few mistakes in game one and two. Uh, I think it came out more in game two than game one because they got the win, right? Yeah. They was able to overcome that, but I just don't think they can do that too many times to win this series. So, yeah. little minor things to fix, better stick play, you know, things like that. They'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Capitals ain't nothing to sneeze at, man. You know what I'm saying? Them they got Ovechkin, man. man. Them boys is beast mode. They got Ovechkin, man. He's done stuff by himself that whole teams have done. True. So, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it was awesome to see, though, man. I really enjoyed that, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to tomorrow night, man, game three. Um, I think Vegas is going to pull this one out. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But this this may be a very long series, man. Yeah. Based on yeah. what I've seen so far. I don't you know? see this one being quick, bro. Nah, Not at all. This Not is going to go this is gonna go to the end, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, you know what? We got time for some last thoughts real quick. You know? So, we got some time for some last thoughts. I got the uh, Vegas Knights hat on. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm representing for Vegas Knights, the Jay Neal. All right, Jay Neal, all right, scoring them, them winning goals and everything like that. 
So Vegas, continue to do your thing, man. Go Knights, go. All right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Jay, give us some last thoughts, man. What's on your mind? Man, got to give a big shout out to the 2018 graduates. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, we got a couple of mentees from the 100 graduating. Jonathan Bailey, shout out to you, young brother. I'm proud of everything you're doing. You know, but it makes me think, right? So they have the elementary and preschool graduations going on right, right now. Yeah. So my kids are still young. I got one going from fifth to sixth grade. And, and the thing it brings to my mind is like, what, what do these kids have to look forward to when we're giving them all the hoopla for a fifth grade graduation? It's like, what does high school graduation mean? What does college graduation mean after this, right? And I don't know if it's just me as a parent and my generation, we didn't get rewards for every little thing we did, right? So to see these kids get rewarded for every little step they make, yeah. it, it bothers me a little bit, right? Okay. I'm gonna be a part of it, because it's yeah. my kids. Right, right. But at the same time, I'm, I'm bothered by it. So you're saying it's not enough right now, man, to take your kid to McDonald's for a Happy Meal <laughs> just because they get went from kindergarten to first uh, grade? Nah, man. You can't I'm, do that no more? I'm a, I'm a big <laughs> proponent and not rewarding them every time they get an A. <laughs> You know what I mean? I was like, you did your job. Yeah. My job is to go to work and make money. Your job is to go to school and do well. Uh, you have that one job right yeah, now. Yeah. So, But, you know, that's the old school mentality, I guess. Right. These kids come from a newer, newer school. Because the stuff they going through, man, I can't even imagine. So. Right, right. <laughs> you kids out there, you don't want him as your daddy. <laughs> you heard the first hand. <laughs> But I'm soft, man. They break me down. I end up yeah. buying stuff anyway. <laughs> but I'll tell you, I don't like it. I have an attitude about it. Though. I have an attitude about it the whole time we in Walmart looking for that new toy. So I'm going to talk about it anyway. I heard that, man. <laughs> I heard that. Yo, it's your boy Mick. It's my man, Jaron Gray. It's another Puff a Minute. Thank Absolutely. you for joining us. We'll see you again next week. Hey, be sure to follow A Puff a Minute on Instagram at A Puff a Minute on Facebook at A Puff A Minute, all right? And definitely on YouTube where all of these videos are housed every week. Puff A Minute, join us, go through, click subscribe, the click the bell so you'll always be notified when we load up a new episode, all right? Absolutely. There you go. Peace, and we'll see you next week. Oh, and we are not just blowing smoke. Yes, sir. <laughs>